Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, hi. How are you today? Fine, teacher, fine. Thank you. And you? Fine, fine. Vamos a ver. Last day today, right? We finish. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. December the 5th. Adolfo. Hello, teacher. Present. Excellent. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria, no here. Ah, Adriana Sofía. Ana. Brenda Alexandra. Brenda, Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Cruz Antonio. Es los escucho bien lejos, fíjense. Pre present. Ok, thank you. Vamos a darles más volumen. Tengo con 70%, lo veo bien lejos. Eh, Cruz Antonio, present, me dijo, ¿verdad? David. Present, teacher. Present, present. Ok, José, Al José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. No sé por qué lo oigo tan suave ahora. Siempre los escucho fuerte, pero los oigo bien suave. Tell me, Adolfo. Hello. Adolfo, I see your hand up. You cannot yeah. hear. We can hear. You cannot hear. What yeah. about the others? Can you hear? Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Cheque, Adolfo, si es eh, su equipo o okay. qué. 
you cannot hear. So check it, check, check the, the, the configuration that you have, what's going on. Okay. Maya, vamos a ver. Eh, Mauricio. Nubia. Pedro Luis. Present teacher, present. Eh, Saúl. Sulmayanet. Present. Victor. Victor, Victor. Fernando. Present teacher. Rosy. No Rosy. Okay. Vale, let's see if somebody else entered before I call you. Adolfo. Present teacher. Adriana María. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Okay, Ana. Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. José Alfredo. Mauricio. Hey, present teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. Saul Edgardo. Victor. Rosy. Okay. Well, I'm on mm -hmm. There we go. How was your weekend? We How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yes. Yes, yes. How was yes, teacher. Hello. Tell yeah. me about your weekend. Hmm? I went to it? I went to Morazan. Oh. To the Sapo River. Ay, that's beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. El sapo. Oh, oh. El sapo river. Yeah, I remember. I, ooh, I went to El sapo river about 10, no more, 15 years ago, something like that. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. That maybe in the future we will go again. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, that was like a long, long time ago. We went to El Sapo River. We stayed in El Llano El Muerto. We were camping. Yeah. And we moved, we walked for kilometers. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. In the countryside, when people tell you it is. Uh, three kilometers from here. Uh, uh It's not three. It's about ten. I remember we were walking and walking and walking. <laughs> yeah. And they told us. But the landscape want... is beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. But they told us, do you want to go? If you want, we can take you by bus half of the way. It's only three kilometers. And we said three <laughs> kilometers. We came here to walk. <laughs> After three hours walking, we never arrived to the Chorreron. No, it was not three kilometers. I don't know many. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many they are. That's sad. 
<laughs> but it was a beautiful experience. Yes. That's nice, nice. Well, vamos a, I was checking something, you know. I want to see if, I want to see if everybody finished the platform because the day I collected the scores, I had three people missing the final exam. Mm. So, I hear, so sorry, but uh, when I look at the platform, it doesn't look uh, like it's like in red color as you did it. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. What what did you say, Anna? Sorry, can you repeat? In the graphic in the graphic on progress. Ah, que en el en el gráfico no salía como actualizada la información y si ya estaba hecho, teacher. En en cuál gráfico? En el progreso que uno va viendo, a ver cómo ha progresado. Mm. Solo me salía un chequecito verde en el final exam. Que entendería yo que es que sí ya lo había hecho, ¿verdad? Pero en el progreso no me salía en rojo ya hecho. ¿Qué me hace? Yeah, the final, the final is gray color, right? We can hear again, teacher. Okay, tell me, Adolfo. Sorry. <laughs> no worry. Vamos a ver. I, as I told you, I was collecting the grace that there were some of you who I, well, three people, right? That I have with zero, with zero in, the, in the final exam. And the thing is, that you know that today is the last, but the last, the last, the last a day when I check scores, right? So everything has to be done. Vamos a ver. Ah, va. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, ya está. Who was the other? Al Jose Alfredo. Me lo memorice, please. José Alfredo, ok, and Víctor. Mm, Víctor. Ok. Remember that once you finish the exam, the exam has its percentage, right? And if you do not do the exam, your score will not be enough for you to get the, 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 the 80 that you need to pass the course. Okay. So congratulations to all the ones that already finished. Thank you, teacher. Yes. You facilitate your life and my life, right? Because I don't have to stay up midnight waiting for your score so thank you very much i'm very glad to see that you are complete just missing one person okay well well this is our our last day today at 8 30 we are going to be completing the the satisfaction letter you know that this is a document that you receive in your email, right? Uh, you receive all the information that you need for completing this uh, dissatisfaction letter that is a requirement, right? And we are going to be completing it at a 30 because that's the time what that we should be completing. We should all be completing, right? The, the exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at 8 30, we will come to share and to work together in the completion of that exercise. Right now, let's move to the class.
we will have a 15 minute, no, not 15 minutes. We will have a discussion of the questions. No, 15 minutes, that's about five. It's only one question today. Now, uh, you're going to identify inventory management crisis. Remember, that's the topic that we have been talking about. We have been talking about logistics. We have been talking about inventory, about warehouse, and how to, to make our warehouse be successful, right? And today, we're going to talk especially about inventory management crisis. And the objective is to be able to identify the main ideas and key details in a passage about an inventory management crisis. And we will see that uh, we will do a reading, right? We have a reading, the last reading of the class. And for that, you're going to check vocabulary and discuss a couple of questions given, right? But for the moment, the question we're going to discuss is this one. Would you willingly do business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the past? <clears throat> Imagine there is a there is a company which was not so good and you had a bad experience with that company. And then that company asks you to make business with, with it. Would you? Would you feel happy and comfortable? Yes, of course, let's make business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the past. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to go discuss with your partners for 16. Mm -hmm. Okay, so discuss with your partners and share if you have had any bad experiences with any company, right? How you felt and what you think about that. There we go. Join, join groups of four. Join, 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 join. Claudia, Cruz, David, Pedro, Jose Alfredo. Hi. Hi. Teacher. Hi. I didn't listen the indication. Excuse me? I didn't listen the indications. You're going right. to discuss the question, Adriana mm -hmm. Sofia. Thank you. Go to the last page of the manual. It's page 40. 40, discuss the question. Now it's only one. Page 40. Discuss, yeah, page 40. Discuss the okay. question in activity one. Okay, now, teacher, thank you. Great, great. Thank you. Okay. Can share if you need. Okay. Will you willingly? Wildly. Do be teacher what is willingly? What is willingly? 
that you are happy to do business with them. Está diciendo. <laughs> you say, yeah, sure, making business with you, why not? I'm happy to do it. Okay. Will you willingly do business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the past? Oh. I wouldn't. <laughs> no, me neither. Me neither. Nobody, me neither. Nobody I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I don't like give second chances. You you don't like uh, repeat the bad experience. No. Yeah. Of course not, right? But sometimes, but sometimes necessary. Yes, yeah. I have. <laughs> Well, in my job, I uh -huh. have to work with shipping company and uh -huh. in C -A -C -M -A. CMA. CMA, okay. But they are very, very bad. They, I don't know how to describe them, but for me, their service it, is worse. Yes, it's the worst. And okay. I I have told my to my boss for me mm -hmm. I I don't work with them never. But uh, the rate is the lowest, so sometimes it's necessary to yeah, to dispatch some containers with them. So it's not my decision. And in case of something goes wrong, it, ah, it, y también porque hay como no sé cómo se dirá en inglés, pero es como que usted ya tiene este como cuando usted paga multas. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, póngale, tiene que cumplir el servicio, aunque ya no quisiera seguir en ese contrato, pero como si no le caen multas, vean. Entonces, a veces mismo tiene que seguir en ese, con esa misma empresa. Like, like say, for have a good record. M4, M4. Pero me voy a buscar la palabra. For cumplimiento, cumplimiento. Aquí se cumulative. Ah, because of the complaints, you have to complain the, the contract. <clears throat> so in that cases, you have to continue with the same company um, just for, for the money, ¿verdad? But... If the question said, if you do with will witness, no sé, with a good. Willingly. Willingly, uh huh. Eh, maybe no, no, no one wants to continue. No one want to continue with a company like that. <clears throat> yes, because it's it's really complicated just as say Mauricio and it was a big loss if the company doesn't uh, keep his word uh, doing a, a you you have to think about about uh, another thing the time you're wasting your time if you didn't do the th the right thing in the right moment it has a cost not only uh, because of the money uh, even more the time and you are wasting your time in retrasar pereme you you're going to delay your 
your project, whatever it is. Hi, hi. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay. I'm mean, coming. Well, in three minutes, in three minutes, we're going to work. Three minutes. <laughs> In three minutes, we're going to do the encuesta de satisfacción, right? Ah, really? Mm -hmm. But it's the last day or now? It's the last day today. No. <laughs> I don't know, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me neither. You don't know that today is the last day? I thought no. it was the 8th, teacher. Y yeah, 8th eight. Eight December. Mm -hmm. I, think the I think the confuse is uh, December the 9th because of the the the, mess, the text that uh -huh. they sent. I think that is the confuse. I thought it was 9. We're going to finish. No, it's today. Remember that we have uh, a... 25 days, right? 25 days uh -huh. of classes. Probably what has confused you is that you see classes program further, right? Yeah. Uh, probably that's that's what has made you think about that. Okay, no problem. We can spend <laughs> we <finish>. one hour. <laughs> yes. You will be free the rest of the mm -hmm. the rest of the of the of the month. You will be you will be sleeping early. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Imagine. Basha. Okay. No. Well, I guess you're ready, right? We are ready, ready for the survey. So okay. perfect. Perfect. I don't remember where I saw the the date uh, 8 of December December 8th where you saw the date that day, the December 8th, I don't remember where. Mm. Yeah, the message said the last day of the course. Which message? The WhatsApp. We, we, we do the survey now, teacher? Yes, but give me a second because we begin together, right? Good, teacher. I'm, I'm going to share. The first, I'm going to share the video. That Today we finished. Did you see the date? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, perfect. <laughs> so you see, we finished today. You want to continue studying, I see. But nice because it, that means that you will continue studying on the vacation, right? No, teacher. <laughs> Ah, no teacher. Oh, no teacher. Uh -huh, Jose Alberto. It's vacation. 
Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, take your time to give a review, to give a check and everything, right? Okay, well, I'm going to share with you the video. Let's see. Yes, here we go. But remember, you already know how to do it, right? But this is a requirement, so we will see the video before we start. Okay. Can you hear? No. Yes. 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 The video, no, teacher. Can you hear? No, only what? Okay, give me a second. Oh, if no, I will I will disconnect the earphones if you cannot hear them. I can hear perfectly to you, but you can hear me. Yeah. Yes. What about this? No. The video, no. Okay. I'm, I'm going to disconnect the microphone for a while then because uh, it's sounding just to me in the earphones. Okay. What about now? Can you hear? Yes. Okay. I'm sharing again. Teacher. Yes. Eh, y la, informe, la información la mandaron porque yo no la he encontrado. Eh, A mí no me la mandaron. Bien. A mí me cayó hoy a las 3 .30. Veamos el, el video ahorita y ya lo vamos a buscar. Lo más seguro es, ya vamos a ver de parte de quién llegó. Oye, veamos el video ahorita. Teacher, pero no... sí pasa que no lo envían, me pasó el curso pasado. Uh -huh. Va, okay. Microsoft okay. Share. But let's see, a mí me llegó de parte de Jimmy Martínez. La vez pasada les había llegado de parte de Hazel. Chequen quién se a, lo... A mí me llegó de parte de Hazel. De parte de Hazel, ¿verdad, Carlita? Yeah, me too. Eh, chequen, chequen en spam, chequen en... My, but we can start in the WhatsApp, right? Eh, pero eh, hay información, Adolfo, que se la mandan al correo, la, la información personalizada. Esa le llega al correo. Thank you. Revisen. Ahora mismo. Vaya, lo que, lo que pueden hacer en el buscador, en su correo, escriban eh, encuesta de satisfacción. Y chequen que sea la de este mes, ¿verdad? Que no sea del mes pasado. Mauricio, esta vez sí le llegó. Eh, vía email, teacher. ¿Hoy sí? Sí. Yeah. Ok, perfecto. ¿A quién más no le había llegado la vez pasada? ¿Rosy? ¿Rosy, are you here? ¿Rosy, Rosy, sí le llegó? Yes, teacher. No, esta vez no le encuentro. Primera vez que no me llega. Pero la sigo buscando, teacher. Ya le aviso. Okay. Escriba en encuesta de satisfacción. Hazel Cardona. Hazel Send Cardona. Me. Exacto. Yeah. Uh -huh. Todos listos. Vaya, vamos a ver el video primero antes de irnos a la encuesta. Oye. 
Vamos a ver. ¿Me pueden escuchar sin micrófono? Yeah, perfectly. Okay. Perfecto. Wow. <risa> si no, yo oigo el video por el por los audífonos, pero ustedes no lo escuchan. Entonces nos vamos a quedar. Este, el curso duró dos meses. ¿Perdón? El curso duró dos meses. No, no es que dure dos meses, pero abarca un rango de. <risa> yo sé, yo... Uh -huh. Es que empezamos en octubre. Sí, abarca del 31 de octubre el rango. ¿Verdad? 31 de octubre al 30 de noviembre. Sí, ¿correcto? Uh -huh. Sí, y vea que sea del eh, módulo 4. Sí, yeah. yo solo del último módulo tengo, de este no, me, no recibí correo. Sí. Eh, Paola, aquí veo un problema. Cheque. No sé si a los participantes les ha llegado igual que a mí. Aquí dice inglés principiante, módulo 4, y este es intermedio. A mí vía, vía email sí me cayó bien intermedio. ¿Cómo yeah. dice el suyo? Sí dice intermedio. Hola, sí. hola, teacher. Ahorita voy a revisar. Ok, perfecto. A mí sí me han mandado de, de intermedio. Ah, vaya, vale, perfecto. Sí, chequen que el suyo diga intermedio, porque el mío, el... El nombre del curso no está correcto, pero fíjense bien que el suyo diga intermedio. Yeah. Ahorita reviso, teacher, solo que no le voy a compartir la orden de inicio porque eh, si difiere, ¿verdad? Pueda que difiera. Ahorita voy a revisar. Permítame un segundo. Sí, porque de hecho la fecha también. Teacher. Dígame. Tendría que haber llegado esta de la encuesta al correo con el que empezamos plataforma, ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto. Pero no tengo ahí. nada yo ahí. Ya escribió acá, póngale en buscar, ponga... No, es que el, el correo que yo tengo es correo empresarial. Ajá. Entonces es una plataforma directamente de la empresa. No es Google, no es eh, Hotmail, no es Yahoo, no es nada de eso. ¿Qué correo? Entonces, yo, plmorales arroba didáctica punto com punto sb. Ajá, pero igual tendría que llegarle el correo ahí. Exacto, pero no me ha llegado, por eso lo digo. Yo tengo un, uh, me aparece en el WhatsApp, lo que nos mandaron a todos, Ajá. un link donde dice eh, lo de la eh, enlace para tomar la encuesta dice, uh -huh. en el WhatsApp, pero no sé si ese es el que te igual el del correo. Ajá, el, el, el enlace está bien, el enlace está bien. Lo único que a su correo le han mandado la información, esta que usted ve acá. Por ejemplo, yo tengo cierta información, pero a usted le aparece su nombre completo, el, nom el nombre de su empresa, el número de teléfono con el que está registrado, el correo electrónico con el que está registrado. Eh, todo eso le, le tendría que aparecer. Porque eso okay. facilita, ¿verdad? Los procesos. Ya usted solo va copiando y pegando la información. Entonces, por eso es que es bien importante. Eh, que Tengo la... uno que me mandó Catherine Domínguez, pero eso es en WhatsApp igual, lo mismo. Ajá. Yeah, but it's the same. Sí, el link es el mismo. Vaya, el, lo que el... podemos hacer, Pedro, es que le voy a ir mandando al, a Zoom, ¿verdad? La información de la empresa, correo con el que está registrado. Yeah. Y de toda la información que le haga falta hoy. Es inglés corporativo okay. Regal International, right? Sí, exacto. No estamos llenando la encuesta todavía, ¿verdad, Adolfo? No. <laughs> Take it easy. Adolfo, no yet. <laughs> Wait for instruction. <laughs> No. Hola, teacher. Este, acá en el chat le estoy enviando si es el inglés intermedio módulo 4 del 31 de octubre al 5 de diciembre, que es hoy, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y la orden de inicio también ya se la compartí, porque si la que tiene usted en el correo no está correcta. Este, y ya le voy a enviar los demás datos. Se los voy a ir enviando también por el grupo de WhatsApp para que los puedan ver todos y que todos estemos en sintonía. Y sí, si cualquier tiene tiene alguna duda con respecto de el nombre de la razón social donde labora, nosotros les podemos ayudar a, a que se recuerden, vea. Exacto. Gracias. Gracias, Paola. 
Bye. Ok, hoy sí, ¿verdad? Ya estamos listos. Let's see the video. Es más que todo para refrescar nuestra memoria y recordar cómo es el llenado de la encuesta de satisfacción. There we go. Good. Si ¿Sí logran escuchar? No. ¿Qué sucede con este audio justo hoy? You can share the link in the WhatsApp and everyone could be listen. Es que es un proceso que tenemos que hacerlo juntos, Adolfo. Uh, yeah, Déjenme verificar algo. That. No sé. ¿Todos me pueden escuchar? ¿Solamente Adolfo tiene problemas para escucharme? El, el video no se escucha. Es que, no se, es que se, se escucha, pero el video no. Ok. Teacher, maybe you have to disconnect the earphone. Ya lo desconecté. And you have to make a, a proof of the speakers. Primera vez que ponen en huelga. Ya quieren vacación también. Vamos a ver hoy. Can you listen? Yes, no. No, no. no. Y ahora, ¿me logran escuchar ahora? Sí. Perdón. We can hear you, teacher, but not the video. Ah, no, no, no lo he puesto ahorita. Ahorita lo pongo. Vamos a ver. Lo voy a cerrar, lo voy a volver a abrir a ver si así funciona. Esperen. Voy a hacer una cosa, voy a buscar el video viejito del curso pasado, porque el curso pasado no nos dio problemas. Y hoy, igual. It's the same problem. Vaya, vamos a hacer una cosa. Le voy a compartir el link en el grupo de WhatsApp y voy a necesitar que uno de ustedes lo comparta. Yes. En el grupo de acá de Zoom se lo voy a poner en el chat. Vaya, vamos a ver. ¿Quién tiene posibilidad de compartirlo en Adolfo? Let me see. On the platform, right? Uh -huh. Acá en, en el chat de Zoom. Ya. Yeah. Let me see. No. Oh. We can find. Now. Uh, you can okay. share your screen. Yeah. Pero el video yeah. Now. Porque lo que veo es que me puso el link otra vez. Yeah. Go Facebook, Twitter. 
Let me see, teacher. Perdón. No se ve todavía. No se ve. Vamos a enviarte para poder. I can share two teachers. Okay, Carlita, go ahead. Tom English Corporate. Vaya, pero ah, excelente. Ahí bien. Y vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar lenguas como inglés corporativo. Vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar lenguas de satisfacción de manera correcta. Maximiza. Vas a recibir a tu correo. Pueden escucharla. Yes. Yes, teacher. Correo electrónico personal de información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de desactivación. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a inglés corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de cero. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social que nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Real International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por el correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, si tenemos fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, 
vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, por favor de tomar una captura de pantalla compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así como tú debes desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Perfecto. Thank you, Carlita. Ok, now let's stop sharing. Great. Thank you very much. Ok, bueno. O ya, ya vieron, tenemos la información en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Bien, amigos, estamos nuevamente con Google Forms, formularios de Google. Vamos a hacer una encuesta de aceptación de nuestros clientes. Para hacer... Thank you. Ok, va. Hoy sí, creo que ya estamos preparado, ¿verdad? Ya encontraron eh, la encuesta de satisfacción en el WhatsApp. Tienen el link para entrar a la encuesta de satisfacción. Recu recordándole, por favor, que este es un proceso que seguimos paso a paso. Aquí encuentro ya tres respuestas de la encuesta. Vamos siguiendo instrucciones y paso a paso todos juntos. Eh, entren al link para tomar la encuesta. Vamos a ver. ¿Listos con la, el, con la encuesta abierta? ¿Sí? Yes. Yes. ¿Vieron el link o quieren que se los comparta de nuevo? ¿Hello? For me, no, teacher. I don't know. If... You don't have the link. I, I have, I have. Okay, perfect. Okay. Maya, let's see. If you don't have the link, I can share it to you. Everybody has the encuesta open? Yes. yes it is. Okay, perfect. En el chat, si se fija en el chat, está la información que necesitamos utilizar para completar. Orden de inicio es esta. No, no tomen la que tienen en el correo, sino que la que nos acaba de compartir Paola al grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Ok? ¿Listos con la orden de inicio? Copiamos. Recuerden que vamos copiando y pegando, ¿verdad? Lo que siempre nos han dicho, no hagan, no copien y peguen, pero hoy sí. <risa> hoy sí, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Su nombre completo, ustedes tienen también en su correo la información completa, ¿verdad? Su nombre completo para que esté tal cual usted lo proveyó a inglés corporativo cuando se inscribió para el curso. ¿Listos? ¿Listos? Yes. ¿Listos? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Su correo electrónico, igual, el correo electrónico que usted eh, proveyó a inglés corporativo. Si alguno tiene problema que no tiene esa información, me dice para podérsela compartir. ¿Todos tienen esa información a mano? Yes, I, I have. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. El número de celular, igual el número de celular que usted proveyó a inglés corporativo. ¿Sí? 
sexo, departamento de residencia. Si usted reside en Sonsonate, San Miguel, La Libertad, San Salvador, escoja el departamento de su residencia igual que el municipio de residencia. ¿Listo? ¿Listo, listo? Sí. Yes. Con respecto a la empresa, recuerden que acá escriben el nombre de la razón social de su empresa. Eso es lo que van a escribir, el nombre de la razón social. ¿Listos? Yes. Yes. Ahora, nombre del proveedor con el que se le capacitó. Busca acá. Inglés corporativo Regal International. Entre las opciones que tiene. Inglés corporativo Regal International. ¿Listos? Yes, yes. Yes. Ok. Ahora venimos a buscar el nombre del curso. Recuerden que lo pegan sin las comillas. ¿verdad? Nombre del curso, inglés intermedio 4. Y pasa a la pregunta número 11, a valorar los aspectos del curso. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? ¿Qué opina del contenido de estructura del curso? ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Usted da su propia valoración. Ahora, ¿en qué fecha inició el curso? Corroboramos 31 de octubre, fecha de inicio. 31 de octubre, la marcamos en el calendario. 31 de octubre. Y fecha de finalización, 5 de diciembre. Está más fácil porque nos aparece cada marca. ¿Listos? Yes. ¿Estamos bien hasta la pregunta número 13? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Ahora, en la pregunta número 14, recuerden que esta pregunta se refiere al, a cómo ha recibido los servicios de parte de inglés corporativo, de, de parte de, de las clases, cómo se le han impartido, ¿verdad? No se refiere a si le falló el internet, si, si estuvo problemas de conexión o si no pudo conectarse algunos días, no se refiere a eso, sino que se refiere a la manera en que inglés corporativo se le ha servido, ¿verdad? Las clases durante este módulo. Entonces, respecto a eso es que usted va a escoger la opción correspondiente. Y recuerden que si marca insatisfecho, eso significa que usted ya no va a seguir, ¿verdad? Con el siguiente eh, módulo. Porque es un este es un requisito que usted tenga que completar toda esta encuesta. Vamos a ver la pregunta número 15. Mencione que otros cursos son de su interés. Si usted está interesado en algún otro curso que inglés corporativo sirve, eh, ya ustedes conocen algunos de los cursos que se sirven acá, agréguelo, ¿verdad? Acá en esta parte puede escribir si quiere estudiar Excel o Word o... PowerPoint, ¿qué otro curso estaría usted interesado en estudiar? Lo puede agregar acá. Y si tiene algún otro comentario, también lo puede agregar al final. Una vez le da a enviar a la encuesta, recuerde que tiene que hacer la captura. Yo no le voy a dar a enviar, no puedo, pero usted sí haga la captura y la envía al grupo de WhatsApp. Ya tenemos algunas acá, 
¿verdad? Muy bien. Envía la captura con su nombre completo. Cheque que su nombre está completo a la hora de compartir eh, la captura, ¿verdad? ¿Correcto? Vamos a ver cuánto sabemos ya. Tenemos entregados. Teacher, yo llené la mía y desde, desde el correo, pero me da como que no he llenado nada. ¿Qué le dice Nubia? Que supuestamente yo ya llené todo, pero al quererlo enviar me manda que es necesario completar las ocho preguntas, como que no he hecho nada. Qué raro. Ajá. Revise a ver si se le habrá quedado alguna pregunta sin completar. Como están marcadas como obligatorias, con alguna que falte ya no le, ya no la va a dejar enviar. Vamos a ver, Adri Adriana Escalante, su nombre completo, Adriana. Está todo lleno, pero me lo marca como que quizá lo voy a volver a hacer, pero desde WhatsApp. Sí, porque bien raro, ¿verdad? Sí, porque ya lo llené todo y, y nada. Mm. A saber qué es lo que no le está reconociendo. El, la fecha se la puso desde el calendario, ¿verdad? Sí. 31 de octubre y 5 de diciembre. Hay una encuesta sin nombre. La encuesta que está pegada después de Rosy, no sé de quién era. Recuerden que una de las instrucciones es que usted pegue su encuesta con su nombre completo. Eh, mía, es teacher, ahorita eh, arreglo eso. Ok, perfecto. ¿Quién es Quique? Ahí está. Ok. Vamos 
sont bien mis. Et on va mettre one plus un. Partant-ci. Partant cinco. Sulma, Victor. Hello, teacher. No me ha mandado la encuesta todavía. No. Cruz. Give me a second, please. Not, not, a, not a second. Maybe five minutes. I go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Vamos a ver quién más me falta. Zulma. I already finished. Tengo 18 conectados. Siete, ¿quién más? Nubia. Nubia, ¿verdad? Que tiene problemas. Ok. Sí, teacher, ahorita estoy tratando de volverle a hacer desde WhatsApp. Ojalá que hoy sí se la acepte. Sí. Que ya no le dé problemas. Bien. No está. Bueno, voy a pasar lista ahorita, de hecho. Ok, muy bien. Ok, tell me present. Adolfo. Present. Adriana María. Present, teacher. Adriana Sofía. Sofía. Present teacher. <ríe> Ana. Present teacher. Ah, me falta su encuesta, ¿verdad? Ah, no, ya está. Eh, Brenda. Brenda. Estoy buscando los que me faltan. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Por allí la vi. O no la vi. Si sí, ahí está. Claudita, hello. Cruz Antonio. Present. David. Present teacher. Cruz ya me mandó su encuesta, ¿no, verdad? Ya, listo, ya. Ah, va, perfecto. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Ahí está. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Mauricio. Mauricio. Present t-shirt, sorry. Present. <laughs> ok. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl. Está Saúl, no está Saúl. Sí. Saúl, no here. No, ¿verdad? Sulma Yanet. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Fernando. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Excelente. 
Ok. Vaya, vamos a ver quiénes me faltaban. Muy bien, Cruz ready. Zulma ready. Solamente me faltan Víctor, Nubia, Ambrenda. A ver si ya no le da problema eh, eh, Nubia. Ya, teacher. Ahorita la acabo de mandar. Excelente. Muy bien, muy bien. Vaya. Solo Brenda faltaría entonces. Le vamos a dar un ratito a, a Víctor. <coughs> Remember the question was, if you would like to work again with a person who you had a bad experience with, right? Okay. Would you willingly do business with a company that caused you bad experience in the past? I was listening to you around and some said, mm, no. Others said, well, if there is no option. What do you think? Who wants to share? What, what do you think? Would you do business? with a company that caused you really a bad experience in the past? In our group, we were talking about if we, we have a contract with the company, you must continue with the company. Uh -huh. But no, but not is your, your first option. If it is possible to change stop. with the, to change the company maybe we we will do it uh -huh. but sometimes uh, that kind of of work with that with those company maybe makes you uh, delay your 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 program or oh, yeah, maybe or maybe lose your money mm -hmm. exactly and remember that if you have had a bad experience with the company, you can break out any contract that you have, right? And break relations. So they haven't given to you a good service. You haven't had a good experience. But Mauricio was saying that the company that made the mistake have to uh, repair the, the mistake. So that's why you cannot uh, cut the contract at the very beginning of the situation. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the contract pro protects you. If you don't have a contract in the middle, you possibly have a bad experience. Most that if you don't have, uh-huh, exactly, that's true, that's true. Because they don't feel any compromise, right? If there is no contract, if you have a contract, you can demand that they broke the contract, but if, if there is no contract, they will be irresponsible and there is nothing you can do. Just break relations with their company, right? Okay. Yeah. We're going to go through a reading. Check this. What you're going to do is read. This is an, an excerpt about inventory issues Walmart has experienced. So what you're going to do here in this reading is identify main ideas and key details to answer the questions below. So what is a main idea? 
a main idea is the principal idea, right? What is uh, the what focus of the of the reading? Of the reading, exactly. So, what is the principal idea of the reading? And then, what are the details that you can find? Uh, in the details, you can find facts. You can have examples. You can find statistics, right? Those are examples of details. And the details are extra information that you may find in a reading, right? Extra information that will help you support, right? That, that the, that's the idea of the, of the details, the, to support the main idea, okay? So that's what you're going to do right now. Identify main ideas, not only when. Sometimes you may have a main idea in each paragraph, right? And there are some details that are supporting this principal idea, okay? And then of course, you will answer the questions that are after the reading. In your manual, page number 40, you go to page number 40 in the manual. We're going to read it together first, just for checking pronunciation. And then I'm going to send you to the groups for you to work together, go through the text, check if you have any questions related to vocabulary, to analyze it and answer the questions, okay? Check, out of stock problems, Walmart has them too. With over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and, and an average of 32 billion in inventory, Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problems to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous uh, detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can't buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to the insiders, there were many cases where stock were available in storage, but due to shortage of staff, it got delayed from moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves, and management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Okay, I don't know if you have any question here regarding pronunciation, questions? Mm. Questions. Mm. No question at the moment. Okay, no questions. Well, let's go then to the groups. You're going to read, take turns reading the text, so checking the, the meaning of the vocabulary that is new for you, and then you answer these questions. Okay. Fashion. Okay. There we go, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to remake groups. Okay. So there's 16, well, yeah, we'll be in groups of four. Groups of four, perfect. There you go, join, join the groups, go to the reading, remember page number 40 in your manual, page 40.
Centrales. Pedro, vamos a ver. Adriana María, José Alfredo, try to join. Me quedo un grupo solo con Adolfo, Adriana María, Víctor, 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 try to join. I'm going to move you. In 20 countries, countries, and average of 32 billion of inventory, Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart out of stock problems has been making waves in the recent years. Analyzed have attributed Walmart's problems to mismanage inventory. David, you are you are there. Maybe David, can you read? If if you cannot, Maurice, you can continue. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision. Deep side, the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart process. Many shoppers who are still not getting the experience they, they expect from the retail store. If it is not on the shelf, I can buy it. A customer said an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Okay, customers, customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart. At Walmart because of bad service and empty service. <clears throat> and management worsened the problem by for, for cutting. It's not on the shelf, I can buy it. A customer say in an interview, according to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage. But due to shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves, and management worsened the problem by further curing back staff to save in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for gigants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Good. Uh, uh, 
then say the first question, what is Walmart average inventory? What is Walmart? Average inventory. We have at the beginning of the, the, the lecture. 32 billion um, in yes. inventory. Yes. Okay. Billion. Here. Can you write as um, an answer? I, I'm going to put a check here because I don't know if we can. You can use the pencil, Anna, don't complicate. Ah, it. yes, I'm that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, facilitate. You, you changed my name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sulma. <laughs> <laughs> es que le oí la voz como de Ana, ¿sabe? Ah, ok. <laughs> Use the pencil. Ay, this is easier. Ok. Mm -hmm. Walmart's problem is attribute to. Miss Ma. Es el promedio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And waves is making waves in the recent years. Mismanage mismanaged. Oh. Miss Manash. Mm -hmm. It's like a bad, a bad management. Okay. Mm. Worsen. 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 Father. What? Father. Where is that? F U R T H. Fail. Fail. Fail, Novia. F. In the same problem, Walmart failed I, because they didn't anticipate um, and forecast the event. See, si. no, the further for, by further curing, curing. Ah, further, 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 further means a uh, massage. Lejos, más lejos. Okay, thank you, teacher. By for the core impact, ¿verdad? <laughs> no lo encuentro. <laughs> está en la misma línea donde está Worsen. Ah. Worsen the problem by for the core to say ah, for the... but imagine Walmart is too big to, to have few people working mm -hmm. it's a monster <laughs> it's a monster it's a monster international yes it is very very big Only in, in the country, like uh, here in, in Salvador, uh -huh. they have the three, three, um, three stores. Mm, mm, no, como sería? Cadenas serían chains. Uh -huh. But here they have three branches. The three branches. Three branches. Right. Uh -huh. La defensa, defensa uh -huh. familiar, maxi uh -huh. defensa. That's a chain. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's a cheap. Maxi Despensa and, and the same Walmart. 
Maxi Despensa no es la misma despensa familiar. Um, no, because uh, for the, the cashiers and, and la despensa is not automatically. They, they, they don't have a, a conveyor belt. But in the in the Maxi Despensa is um oh no ahí tampoco ahí ya me perdí. No verdad. I can see in El Salvador they don't have that they have a, a cashier in all the stores. In 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 la despensa. In Walmart too, or no? Yes, uh, in Santa Ana, they have a cashiers, uh -huh, but they, they have, have, they have, they have a, an area too, uh -huh. when, oh, when you, you can, can pay alone. yes, you can este, uh -huh, pay along, you, you can uh, scan the, uh -huh. the barcode mm -hmm. and push for, im, uh, ¿cómo se dice imprimir? <laughs> Print. Ah, pay the, the ah. And who do you pay to? Or you pay with credit card there. Mm. How do you pay? In cash. To whom? I is one cashier for all the the, the scanners. What? Have a uh, eight scanners and one cashier. Wow, that's uh, it. That tell me about the line. Doesn't it get too long? No. People are, are used to to pay themselves like that. It, it, it for for um faster. It's faster because the 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 cashiers they have a twelve. But only work four. <laughs> In the other area, you can uh, uh, scan your, your by yourself mm -hmm. and just go to the cashier and pay. In the moment. Oh, that's interesting because I saw that here in San Salvador. I mm -hmm. haven't seen that. Well, but I go more to the Pensa de Don Juan or Super Selectos than Walmart. Mm -hmm. But in the United States, I could, see, I could see that, that people pay with a credit card or a debit card. Mm -hmm. There is no person. So they pass the product oh. check and at the end, they pay with a credit card or with a debit card. And then they go out. Huh? Don't have any contact with that person. No contact with anybody. Okay. But, but it's only one or two spaces for passing mm -hmm. like that. For example, people who are in a hurry or they are just buying a couple of things and they say, I'm going to make that big line waiting for everybody to pay and I have to pay only. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. so they go to that area, they pass it, they pay to the machine, and they leave, right? But, of course, there is a, the biggest area where they have a cashier and people who don't want to pay alone, they can go to that area, right? For example, if you're not mm -hmm. very sure, if you're not very sure about how to 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 scan how to pay yourself, you can go to the biggest area, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, here in uh, in Walmart and uh, Maxi Despensa, you only give the receipt to the cashier, and she does the uh, not touch any product. But who counts the products to see that you, you are have you, you are all uh, all the all the work because you are uh, check all the products oh. with the scanner. Uh -huh. You scan the corbat and in uh, in a machine mm -hmm. you only push a button and you have the receipt. Oh, 
and you go to the cashier, give the the, the receipt, and that the oh she only scan the, the receipt and say you are um, twenty bucks. Okay. That's all. Well, it's faster somehow. It can be faster, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but here in San Salvador, that would be totally, totally disaster. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would be a total disaster because it's very crowded, and I don't know how that would work here. Right. But that would be a good experiment to see. <laughs> uh -huh. That would be something interesting to see. Okay, well, tell me, did you finish answering the questions? No. Not yet, okay. Not yet. I let you continue working, so you answer the questions. 20 minutes. Okay. That's nice. You finished here. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions regarding vocabulary or pronunciation? Mm. Maybe you can help me with a pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Let me see. This is an accomplishment. 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 Mm -hmm. Never, nevertheless. Nevertheless. Never, nevertheless. Nevertheless. Okay. Nevertheless. 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 Only with that. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, we're going to give uh, uh, two minutes for everybody to finish because there were some groups starting to answer the questions. Okay, and then okay. I call you. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Mm. Hi, hi. Based, uh, based on, based on the read on, on the reading. Mm -hmm. Who is worse? Worse. Peor. Se puso peor. Okay. Empeoró. Because here is a verb, right? This is a... Remember last week we were talking about adjectives, nouns, and verbs with the same uh, root. For example, here you have the comparative adjective words, and when you add ned, it becomes a verb, and then you say worsened, worsened, like in the case of short, shortened, straight, straightened, right? So this is worsened. So that is a worse is the adjective, but comparative adjective, right? And then the, the verb that will be worsened. Worsened. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. David? Um, I think the number four, maybe, maybe the letter C, because the UR stock is the letter. Uh, your inventory is broke, broken. That, but uh, you buy the inventory, but delayed because the, the the delay for the for the boat or for the the pandemic, for example, mm -hmm. your inventory is a stop in 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 wherever here in wherever. A place, but uh, you're, ne you're needed the, the inventory, mm -hmm. but no, not have a disponible. 
No era bella. Pero si usted, pero yo le, I understand what you're saying, but based on the reading, I'm just asking, look, the reading said, eh, dice que management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to save it in cost. Okay. Es in the other answer. Ajá, yo, le estaba, ajá. yo le estaba poniendo la, como la, la más lógica, por ejemplo, usted puede comprar inventario y por, porque la causa de los retrasos de mover su stock es que usted compra el inventario y no lo puede, no lo puede despachar porque no ha llegado a su bodega. Ajá. Ese es el número uno. Y es el más común, por ejemplo, hoy en la época de la pandemia fue el más común, a mí me pasó. Ajá. Entonces yo tenía montón de venta, de abastecer, pero no podía despachar porque todavía no había ingresado los contenedores. ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. Porque estaban pegados en los puertos. Entonces no podía sacar el metal. Uh -huh. Pero igual, como si nos apegamos a lo que dice el texto. El texto, ajá. Sí, ese sería el, el tema de, de, del costo. Bueno. Es el texto, la número dos. Ah, no, pero... Ah, no, no, sí, como usted movió las... Ya se le desajustó. <risa> y cree que lo puedo volver a poner. Y el mouse se me va mucho. No, así de despacito con la tecla hacia arriba. De, de uh -huh. Va a quitar el mouse de por aquí. Hi, Victor. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Shavul Bimu. Okay. Vamos a ver how many seconds. Oh, one. Nice. Baja. Check. Sharing. Again. Let's see. Checking your answers. Walmart. Oh, what is Walmart's average inventory? According to the reading. Mm. 32 billion. 32 billion. Let me get a pin. Okay. Well, uh, Walmart's problem is attributed to? Manage, uh, mismanaged inventory. Mismanaged inventory, yes. What has happened to the inventory? What is the problem? Why do they say they have mismanaged the inventory? Uh, because they don't put the product on the shelves, but in the, in the storage, they have a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they have a lot of product, but they don't show it to the people. And like that, if you don't share with the people what you have, you won't sell it, right? Mm -hmm. Good. What caused delays to move stock out to the shop floor? I think it was a shortage in the staff. Yes. Yes, that was shortage in staff. Shortage in staff. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, 
the when there is a, an economic problem, what companies do is to shortage the staff, right? And in this case, in the case of Walmart, this was not a good idea, right? Because imagine all the quantity of people getting to, to the store to buy. And you need at least, at least one person in charge of one aisle, right? At least one person. I guess one would not enough, be enough if the aisles are too big, especially there that they are very long that at least one person, but if there were less people in the, in the store, that would be a real problem, right? And that comes to, this, to the next question. How did the stock problem become worse? How? Walmart could stuff to save in cost. Mm -hmm. um, customer stop shopping. I will go for that one because it, it, it's true that in the in the in the reading it says let me see uh -huh. customers gradually stop shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves. And management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to saving cost. But as in question number three, we already mentioned that the cost or the, the, the cost of delays, right, to move a stock was the shortage of staff. Mm -hmm. So they can say, well, no problem. We can continue cutting more, more people. Right, but if they have imagined at the beginning they have 20 people in the store and later on they said, hmm, we need to, to stop, we need to, to fire and we're going to fire five people. We're going to keep 15. That was a problem, right? 15 people. But if they say, they still say, no, we still have to save costs. Hmm? We still have to save costs. The stock was not delayed. They had the stock, right? But the problem was that the stock was there in the warehouse. It was kept but the people couldn't see it. If people don't see the product, they don't buy it, right? But they said, let's cut more stuff. We had 15, that was short and short stuff. But then they said, huh, let's cut more, more people. The 10 that are here can do the job of 20. So no problem, right? Then if they cut more staff to save a costs, this becomes a real problem because we they they already had a problem to move it or to move the stock to the shop floor, but now they have less people. Yeah. This stock problem of moving the product from the warehouse or from wherever they had to the, to the shop floor became worse, right? So that would be because they cut stuff, more stuff to save more money. This was already a problem, but this is not a problem of stock. That is a problem of, okay, what type of problem would be that? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What what? What type of problem can be this one? Mm, that the customers stop shopping. 
Yeah, what what type of problems? What type of problem is that one? Excuse me, I don't understand the question, teacher. What type of problem is this one that customers stop shopping? Um, they are losing financial, financial problem. Financial problem, right? That's yeah. not a problem with the stock, basically. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about this, remember number three and number four and number four are connected, right? Yeah. We're in addition, that the, stock, that the stock had a problem, so they already. Yeah. Have in a addition problem. to the stock problem, uh, consequently, uh, we will have a financial problems. Uh huh. Exactly. So they already have a problem. That's why I said question three and four are mm -hmm. connected. They already had a problem with moving the stock to the shop floor where people will go see the product. Mm -hmm. But then the manager said, hey, how can we pay? We cannot pay everybody. So we have problems. We're going to cut five more people. They were already short, right? They were already short. But then he comes and he cuts more stuff to save costs that became a really biggest problem right mm -hmm. because now less people the customers at the end will stop shopping yeah they are the going to the collapse exactly but what can provoke this to happen is this right, that they cut more people, a part of the few people they already have. Now, let's see number five. Why did Walmart fail at inventory management? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, because they don't have a, uh, um, a forecast to an issue with the inventory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, so act, they never thought, right? They act so blind. They thought the products would move automatically. Mm -hmm. And that is the problem when the manager doesn't know what's going on in the store. So they think that the things move automatically, just move like that. But no, they need people to do it. Mm -hmm. And if there are not enough people, he didn't foresee that problem. He didn't forecast that if he didn't have enough people to move the inventory, the inventory will be there and will not be uh, taken to the area where the choppers will be. Mm -hmm. Nice. Any questions here? Question. No, teacher, no question. No question. No, no teacher, teacher, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, I just I just want to see something that I was I was checking before 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 we go to attendance. Um, let me see. I'm going to refresh the platform. Well, enjoy your vacation in Victor. Victor, 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 hello. Victor. Victor, 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 no está. Mm 
I'm sorry, Victor. I see him, but went to sleep. <laughs> And the thing is that we finish today. I will check. I will check everything. The last, last, the last. Ya me marcaron mi lista. De hecho, los que están completos ya están ahí marcaditos. Uy, ni lo encuentro a ver. Ah. Right. Okay. Let's go to the attendance now. Uh, Adolfo? Here, teacher, present. No le mando aquí el recordatorio porque ya casi es hora de checar. La última vez. Adolfo, present, right? Uh, Adriana Maria? Present, teacher. Nice, Adriana Sofia. Sofi. No está. Ana. Present teacher. Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia Guadalupe. Cruz Antonio. Present. David. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mauricio Emilio. Good night teacher. Good to see you. Good night. Nubia. Present teacher. Saúl Eduardo. Saúl, Zulma Janet, present teacher, Victor, present teacher, no, hermano, Fernando, present teacher, Rosy, present teacher, mm -hmm. yes, yes, Rosy, present teacher, Excellent. Well, this Don't is... Don't call me. Did You hmm? didn't call me. ¿A quién? Pedro Luis. Ay, no le creo. Pedro Luis. <laughs> <laughs> But present. Que va desde que me salte desde, su, desde Nubia Zulema. Que barbarita. Ok, Pedro Luis. Present, right? Yeah, right. Ok, so sorry. Well... It was a pleasure. Have a nice week. Enjoy your vacations. Sleep a lot. <laughs> it's a Zulma. Very happy. Yes. <laughs> And more practice. Yeah. You Enjoy too, teacher. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, teacher. Thank you, Thank teacher. You. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Tom, to you at all. Enjoy Bye. the Christmas Enjoy for everyone. everyone. And Everybody. we hope to see you on, on January. I hope so too. Merry Christmas and a happy Merry new year. Christmas. Thank you, the same, you. everybody. Yeah. Everything with me, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Three fingers above the middle of the glass. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> see you. Thank see you, teacher. You. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Enjoy your vacation. Usted va a dar el siguiente nivel, teacher. Fíjese que aún no sabemos. Me imagino que la proyección la van a mandar hasta en enero. Okay.
Gracias bueno, por todo escuchar. Bueno, esperamos que Dios Vemos el enero, primero Dios. Primero Dios. Chao. Bye. Chao. A que no creas, la vamos a extrañar. Bye, bye. 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 Okay. bye. Uh, thank teacher. Has been a pleasure to be thank your you, student. Thank you, Fernando. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care.